corner of 20th and Blake live at Coors Field in Denver tonight the stars are out in this minor league all-star matchup between the AAA East All-Stars and the AAA West All-Stars it's baseball it's the show and it comes your way next Sam Gavilio, a right-hander out of the state of Oregon, gets the ball in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, Matty D, we're looking at a guy that has a pretty good number of pitches that he throws, but one in particular is the sinker that he's added to his repertoire. When he needs a ground ball or he gets himself into a spot where he needs to possibly roll up a two ball, I think that's the pitch we're going to see often from him in this one, that sinker down in the zone. Now with the plate is Dante Kaiser, and we are set for baseball here this evening. Oh, and the changeup is taken for a called third strike, and the leadoff man is gone to begin the ball game. Well, at the plate, he kind of got bailed out on the previous pitch. I think it should have been a strike. Then he goes down looking, and you really can't feel too sorry for him. Not a lot of protecting with two strikes there. Stepping in now, Bryson Stott. Looked like the sinker there dipped a little below the knees. Temperature starting to drop as the sun goes down. 56 degrees here at first pitch. Got him reaching there. Strike two. We're just underway here in Denver. Right side. Go get some news again. At the plate now, Renato Nunez. Sharp ground ball to third, and that's through for a hit. Hey, there's a nice knock by the three-hole hitter. I know there's two outs, but they always say with your man coming up, the number four hole monster, as soon as he steps in the batter's box, there's a runner in scoring position. Into the box, Robinson Chirinos. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one, no score. Connor Wade, a right-hander from Arizona, will be doing the pitching. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. Stepping in, Noel V. Marte. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Takes this the other way to right. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So here in the first inning, the leadoff man's aboard to kick things off. Nothing fires me up more than watching an offensive player stay inside a baseball and drive it the other way. In now, Robert Poisson. Yep, that that nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. Bouncer up the middle. He's got it. He'll go to the bag for one. On to first to complete the double play. That is good. The catcher. Kirk. Suzuki. To the plate now, Kurt Suzuki. And he lays off the breaking ball there as he moves ahead to two and one.
Bases are empty here with two men out. Hard hit ball to second. But this won't get over the second baseman's glove as he's got it to end the inning. And inning in the books tonight, still scoreless here on the show. And now, Derek Dietrich, as it'll be five, six, and seven due up to kick off the second inning. From the windup, one pitch. One and two now. I got the count one and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Now a curveball yeah. misses inside. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off-speed pitches. Love to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. Here's the pitch on two and two. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. Batting fifth. The fifth. All right, here's how the home side's lining up defensively. And surprisingly today, the best arm resides out in center field. This guy's known for his range. We get it. He can go gap to gap. He's got an accurate arm. But I'll tell you what, you won't see many guys trying to take the extra base on him. He has got an absolute cannon out there. At the plate, Connor Capel. Snatched out of midair at first base for route number two. That is good. The third baseman, Todd Frazier. Stepping in next, Todd Frazier. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. No score here as we play inning number two. On the ground to the left side. Reined in. Throw to first, beats him easily, and the side is retired. for the last half of the inning and that'll bring up the outfielder Seth Beer. Into his motion here comes the three and one and he takes Whoa. ball four lead off man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second and you can tell by his body language that, that he's good. beyond frustrated That's by that good. call. He's got to be wondering what he's got to do, but yes, the sir. last thing he needs to do is to let it get under his skin. That will only make things worse. Now to the plate, Ian Desmond. And there he goes towards second. Drilled right back up the middle. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Throw on to first in time, one away. Okay, here's a defense for the away team. And let's focus our attention on the Todd father. Soft hands, big time arm across the diamond, and former home run derby champion. And he's from Jersey. Don't hate. Stepping in now, Wyatt Matheson. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. All even now, two and two. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Hit back up the middle. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. Batting seven. The first baseman, Taylor. So now here is Taylor Jones looking to put them ahead early with this at bat. The set and the two and one. 
A bouncer to the left side. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So no runs here, no hits, no errors, and one man left on. We'll go now to the top of the third, and we are tied nothing-nothing. Logan Gilbert, a right-hander standing six foot six, will take over pitching duties here. Number 86, Logan Gilbert. Top of the third set to get underway, and standing in the outfielder, Trevor Larnick. Here now the 2 2. Gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. Flat out locked him up with the changeup right there. Usually you're trying for a swing and miss when you throw that pitch in a two strike count, but clearly he wasn't looking for it. So it's a backwards K for him. Into the box now, Hoy June Park. And it's one and two. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. Now a line drive that's going to be caught out there at short. Had him played perfectly that time, and there are two gone now. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Dante Kaiser. He went down looking in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and they froze him on a good changeup. Tough one. If you got good arm action, and this pitcher certainly does have good arm action out there, tough to decipher between the fastball and changeup. He's got to be willing to stay back and take the ball the other way. To short. Scooped up. Throw cleanly into first, and that ends the inning. Yanni Chirinos, a six foot two inch right hander, jogs in to take over on the mound. Number 72, Yanni Chirinos. Bottom of the third now, and set to go is the second baseman, Andy Young. Here comes the one two. Wow, this one bounces off the pitcher. So gets him. So they are able to get an out on an unusual play. And hopefully the pitcher's okay. And time now to see quite where that got him. And it appeared from up here at least, and his actions on the field confirm it. It looked like it got him on his drive leg, which could be problematic, of course, for him. But from the way he's trying to walk it off, I think he's going to try to continue. Striding in is Taylor Colway. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing, our score. Ball three. Three and two now. You can pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order looming. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. Once again, a 3-2. Hit well on the ground to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now battle. Good stop. No LB. Mark Payne. Now at the plate, Noel V. Marte. He collected a base hit his first time up. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. Nothing across here this half of the inning. On now to the top of inning number four, and we are tied nothing nothing. Ian McKinney, a 5-foot 11-inch left-handed reliever, enters to take over on the mound now. Number 75, Ian McKinney. 
hitter. Stepping in once again is Bryson Stott. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The old adage pitching and defense have been stellar so far. They certainly kept both offenses in check. Now a change up, but it misses just a little below the zone. And the pitch on two and one. Well, that sets up a big pitch right here, Matt, because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless game. It's tough to work around the leadoff walk. Full count now, three and two. Put that in the memory bank. First time he breaks out a curveball right there, and it's a pretty good one. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. I know that fastball registered at about 92, 93, but I guarantee you it looked about four to five miles an hour faster than that for this offensive player. After coming off a curveball, the old push the throttle and pull it is being used. Lifted down the line and left. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Payoff pitch one more time. Tony can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. So next to hit is Renato Nunez. He singled in his first A.B. Now the one and one pitch. High in the air down the right field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. And it's another kick. So back to back strikeout victims to start this relief outing. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back to back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. At the plate now, Robinson Chirinos. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Desmond will make the catch, and that ends the inning. Jared Eikhoff, the six foot four inch right hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Number 43, Jared Eikhoff. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And next will be the speed threat, Robert Poisson. This one runs a little too far in. Ball two. The 2 1 home. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2 2. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3 2. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good now wheels batting. off Catcher. base, and that's just Kirk. what they did right there. Big Kirk. strikeout, Kirk. keep that guy off the base pass. Standing in now, Kurt Suzuki. Still one and two as he fouls it away. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there, really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. And good count. patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. And try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. 
A lot of indecision there on that check swing, and that's something you see quite a lot on three and two. When the difference between striking out and drawing a walk in can be an inch or two, it's pretty understandable why guys aren't always aggressive with their swings. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. Ian Desmond would be next. Now the three and two pitch. Pulled toward right center field. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. Jackson Goddard, a right-handed reliever standing 6-3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. New inning set to get underway, and standing in is the DH, Derek Dietrich. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. And he lays off again, ball three. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. Drilled down the line. But a foul ball, and it's full now at three and two. And it's fouled away. The next three, two. Hit sharply on the ground. Speared on the dive. In time. And that's a huge play to keep the leadoff man off the bat, base. The center fielder, Connor, In now, Connor Capel. Oh, Lays off man. the fastball low, and it goes to two balls and a strike. Bases are empty, one man out. Good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. The 2 2 is laid off the and the count ball. runs full. Popped him up. Matheson has a play and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Third baseman number 99, Tom Frazier. So two out, nobody on. And standing in a power threat in Todd Frazier, the third baseman. 1-1. One, one. Yeah. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. Two out, nobody on. And he fouls this one off. The two, two, one more time. It's a fastball that misses. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a three, two change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Now the payoff pitch home is in there. A called strike three.
Anthony Shu enters from the bullpen to do the pitching. Now pitching for the Triple A East All Star, number 65, Anthony Shu. Bottom of the inning now, and digging in is the outfielder Ian Desmond. Two strikes. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long, so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. Line drive. That's a base hit into the right center field gap. Heading for second is Desmond. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. Wow, not sure what the pitcher was thinking. Serving up a fastball right over the heart of the plate. His eyes got as big as saucers as he blasts this thing, putting himself into scoring position to start off the inning. Next, here is Wyatt Matheson, and he'll hit with a chance to push across the game's first run. Yeah, great RBI opportunity here, but at the very least, he needs to find a way to advance that runner to third. Small things like that in a tight game can make a big difference. Desmond stands at second with no outs. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Now so now into the box is Taylor Jones. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here it comes on 1 and 1. And this one gets away. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. Well, he has nobody to blame but himself. With one out, a runner on third can come home to score all sorts of ways. That's why, as a pitcher, you have to execute pitches even better when there are runners on base. Now the 2-1. Ball left outside. Next to hit, Andy Young. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Ready with the 2 1. Shupon takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 65. All set for the start of the inning, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Trevor Larnick. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Fooled with the curveball there, and it's strike two. Got him to chase after the curveball below the zone there. That was a really nice pitch, and it can be a really tough one to lay off of as a hitter. Here comes the one two. Swung on and driven to right, and no doubt about it. 
gone to lead off the inning. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. As they get on the board first, it's one to nothing. There's still some game left to be played, but that one swing could end up being a deciding factor in this one. So now to the plate, Hoi June Park. Grounded back up the middle. And that's through for a base hit, making one for two in this one. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard now single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips okay. right there, Dan. Sent it back right, right where it came from. Into the box. Dante Kaiser grounded out in his last at bat. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they can certainly roll too. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. One and two. Hard on it first. Nobody out. Lays off the one-two changeup, and he's worked it back to two and two. All the makings of a big inning right here. One already left the yard, and the power hitters are coming up. He's set. Here's the two-two. Four -two. Two. count. Three, two. Three and two. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that two-two pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. Another full count pitch home. And now here's a ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. There to take it is Desmond, and that's the first down. Now that is good shot. Right there. So next to bat will be Bryson Stott. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Ready with the one and one. That's in there on the outer one half. Ball. One and two, two now. Three. Little slide step action there, Dan. Yeah, he's clearly thinking about the steal right here. Didn't happen, but the cat-mouse game continues on. Lifted the other way to left center. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. The first base, number 55, Renato. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And digging in next at the play will be Renato Nunez. Two out with the man at first. Fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Throw over to first and the runner back in standing. One and two, here it comes. Fouled off. Set him down for the second time here tonight. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run.
through five and a half. The AAA East All-Stars lead it one to nothing. Glenn Sparkman enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 45, Glenn Sparkman. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and next it'll be the outfielder, Taylor Colway. Now the one and one pitch. And yeah, we see a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Down by a run, your guy needs to get on any way he can. His mentality has to be to shrink the strike zone to like the size of a soup can. No reason to swing at a pitcher's pitch. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. The swing just a little early, and they'll see another payoff pitch. Try it again, three and two. A bouncer up the middle. He's got it. And the throw to first is in time, one gone. Now that not shortstop. Noel V. Marte. Ready now is Noel V. Marte. A hit in two tries so far. One out, nobody on. Liner towards second, but right to the second baseman, and that's the second out. The batter, number three, designated hitter, Robin Blanco. Digging in, the switch hitter, Robert Poisson. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. That's lifted the other way out to left. Left fielder is on the move. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. We're through six full. The Triple-A East All-Star is on top, one to nothing. Ladies Noah Ramirez is on the pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. For the Triple-A West All-Stars, number 41, Noah Ramirez. Wellington Castillo is up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start inning number seven. to go around here but it doesn't matter this is strike two anyway the one two fouled away now another one two off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Now the 2-2. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. Curveball got him swinging for the first down.
Bo Naylor steps into the on-deck circle now, looking to start something here with one gone in the inning. Bases are empty, one man out. Right side, but it's well fouled. Their payoff pitch got him swinging in the dirt and the throw to first is there to record the second out Tim Lopes will pinch hit here with two outs and the base is empty bases are empty here with two men out weak grounder down the line at third but a foul ball one and two now Here's the pitch. Struck him out. So he makes quick work of him here. Three straight strikeouts, and the side is retired. Pure dominance on the mound as he strikes out the side in order. Back with more of our All-Star Game coverage in a moment. Wellington Castillo will stay in the ball game, taking over the catching duties behind the plate. Tim Lopes is the new center fielder after coming on as a pinch hitter during the last half inning. Pedro Stroke will take over on the mound to start the bottom of the seventh. Pedro Stroke. Chadwick Crump will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Fastball's in there, and that's out number one. Haven Smith will come on as a pinch hitter to try and make an impact with one away. One out, nobody on. He's falling behind now, three and one. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. its way through for a base hit. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. You know, Gilo, there's been some great pitching in this one so far. After that knock, that's only the third hit of the game, and we'll get late into this one. Yeah, they always say you got to tip your hat to the opposition sometimes. Well, I think this offense is tired of tipping its hat. they got to start to swing the bats a little bit better. That's their third knock of the game. I know it's late, but maybe they can get something going. To second for one. On the first, it's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. No runs on a hit, no errors, and no one left. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The AAA East All-Stars lead it one to nothing. Chadwick Trump will stay in the ball game as he'll likely do the catching from here out. Number 14, Chadwick 
Haven Smith takes over out in left field after entering the game in a pinch hit role last half inning. Steven Souza will stay in the ball game as he takes over in center. James Hoyt has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Here's Todd Frazier now. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Pitch is a sinker taken for a strike one and two. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout and there's one gone. People always talk about how important getting the leadoff men on base is. And, and it's true. So in the eighth inning of a one run game. That's a really nice job of attacking a hitter. And sending him packing. Trevor Larnick will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle innings. This was a turning point here. A solo home run that was really one of the key at bats of the ball game to this point. Both clubs with three hits in the ball game. This one's blooped out toward right center field. In there, a base hit. The batter, the second baseman, Hoy June Park. Into the box, Hoy June Park. And he takes a cold strike, too. Yeah, Matty, you see the same pitch three times in a row and you find yourself down one and two in the count. Your head starts to get on a swivel here. Is he coming back with it four times or do I have to sit on something else? From the stretch. In the dirt, and now let's see. In time as he just gets the tag down. Two out, nobody on. Pulled toward right center field. Colway gets there for the catch, and that ends the inning. Oliver Drake is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 48, Oliver Drake. Ghost Kid Kato will try and get his club back into it here as he'll pinch it to lead off the home half of the eighth. Here's the 2 2. And there's a line drive base hit to left field. The leadoff hitter finds his way on base. Should be interesting to see the cat and mouse with the manager. Does he use the bunt right here? Do we put a little hit and run on? Do we go old school, new school, and just let him swing away? Should be interesting. To the plate now, Taylor Jones. Oh, that's out. And they'll turn to the slider here, and it just misses. Two and one now. And now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. The two and one on its way. Eight, two. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. That was some nice execution on that pitch. 
spotted it nicely down Looks around like the bottom man. of the zone. And, and when you do that, especially with two strikes, not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. At the plate now, Andy Young. And a splitter swung on and missed that time, and that'll be out number two. That's a big strike out there with the tying run over at first base. Now, with two outs, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that guy home. Probably need a ball in the gap to give him a chance. Michael Tolia will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 16. One one. Hey! Can't waste getting the leadoff runner on in this situation. Someone's got to bear down and get a big knock. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Big time strikeout and some raw emotion as he gets out of the jam. Back with more of our All-Star Game coverage in a moment. Ghost K. Kato is going to go ahead and stay in the ball game and play third now. Number 75. Michael Tolia will stay in the game, taking over in right and batting number nine. Michael Tolia. Andre Scrub enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is, heading to the bottom of the ninth. Riley Unruh will try to get his club a little ninth inning insurance as he'll grab a bat to pinch hit, leading things off here. Mind to the right side. Bob, but that finds the first baseman's glove, and that's a tough now first out. Shortstop. Right there. Stop. Chase Strump steps into the on-deck circle now, looking to start something here with one gone in the inning. Number 28. Chase Strump. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. Nope. Right hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Skied into straightaway right. And the pinch hitter will not be able to advance the cause, and there are two away now. Now batting. First baseman, Renato Nunez. Chesler Cuthbert please. gets the call as a Big pinch hitter, hitter and he'll get a chance with two out and the base is empty. Number 57, Chesler Cuthbert. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Can't keep the weight back and he falls behind one and two. Trying to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that was strike three, and they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. Three two pitch. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Nothing across here this half. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order due up. The AAA East All-Star is on top. One to nothing. Ladies Riley Unro will Ladies stay in the ball game now and take over in left field. Left. Number 92. Riley Chase Strump will stay in the ball game as a new shortstop. Number 28. Chase Strump. 
Chesler Cuthbert will stay in the ball game as he'll take over at first base. Tommy Hunter takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Tommy Hunter. Stepping up is Noel V. Marte. And Dan, what's gone wrong for this lineup today? They're only three outs away from being shut out. Boy, you know, I just haven't seen a lot of fight in these at bats. Now, of course, plenty of credit goes to that pitching, but the effort on the offensive side has been pretty lethargic watching from up here in the booth, Matt. Yeah, I would imagine it feels the same from watching in the stands in this one. Now the 2-1 in the air down the line in left left fielder is on the move and he tracks it down nice play for the first down the batter number three designated hitter Robert. Brian O'Keefe will pinch hit here and he's the potential so tie run number 64 Ryan here's the one and one pitch Things are starting to look bleak here for the home nine. There are two away now. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. At the plate, Chadwick Trump. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Taken called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. I know to the fans that probably looked like something good to hit, but unless you're sitting breaking there, I don't care if it's middle of the plate. That's a tough pitch to pull the trigger on. Popped up. Cuthbert is there to make the catch, and with that, the ball game is over. Wow, that's a rarity. A one nothing game in baseball these days. Both of these pitchers pitched awfully well. It's a shame one of them had to lose this game. And that one run held up tonight, one nothing the final. The Triple-A East wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Anthony Shu earns the victory on the mound. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click over to theshow.com. Fans, our final line score. First for the victorious AAA East All-Stars. One run, four hits, no errors. They left two men on base. For the AAA West All-Stars, no runs, four hits, no errors. They left four men on base. Time of the ball game, a swift two hours and 19 minutes.